But you need to mark this. It's the most powerful words that the Bible has given to us, one of the most powerful words. Verse 5, it said, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. This was the word that God gave to Jeremiah. This was a promise that God gave to Jeremiah. And in fact, it is appropriate for all of us because in this, part, this verse alone, we realize that we are no coincidence. We were formed. We were weave. The word form here actually was weaving, like a, pers- like a person cra- craftsmanship, you know, weave, carefully weave to come up beautiful by God. And so you were not by coincidence, you were not bound by coincidence, you were bound by divine appointment, each one of us. And in this understanding, every one of us has potential to do great things that God has actually aspired, just like a baby born to the family. We don't know what is it, but the parent expired, actually guessing sometimes, will he be a good athlete? Will he be a good Christian or she be a good Christian? Come out to be a Christian leader in the church? Not necessarily pastor. Serving the church faithfully. Will he be a great uh, businessman who is honest and continue to be a great example for the, for, for, for the community? Will he be a great lawyer or a, a, a great, uh, uh, she be a great lawyer who will stand for those who are innocent, who will stand and speak out what is truth and righteousness. And so, in this context, we discovered, as we talk about this series that uh, we engage in, in the book of Jeremiah, using Jeremiah as as our base for understanding of how we can be a voice to the nation, that God called each one of us to play the part that we are supposed to play for uh, witnessing for Him in our community. And so, my friends, babies give us the assurance that a great potential. And so we cannot understand much about Jeremiah until we go back to his birth or even pre-birth. You know, incidentally, how many of you know that when Albert Albert Einstein was born and was a little kid boy and all that, his teacher told his mother this boy would be able to know not much because he was very slow when he was young. Albert Einstein. Today, even today, after many years that he passed on, we all know that Albert Einstein is acknowledged as one of the greatest scientists of all time. The simple equation that he propounds, E is equal to MC squared. Even today, scientists is discerning the full understanding of it. What does it mean? E is equal to MC squared. Albert Einstein, the great scientist that has seen beyond his time. And so every child, Every one of us has potential. And so every baby that comes into our, our, pre, our, our, our scope, our, our radar, is precious in the eyes of God. And so for instance, in this case, it's Jeremiah. Jeremiah was born, first of all, we need to understand that he was born into a priestly family. Jeremiah was born into the priestly family. Today, what we will call a PK, pastor's kid or priest kid, PK. Now, PK in the West, especially in America, uh, there is actually a, sin, sin, uh, a, 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 a study on the, on the PK. PK is not easy, you know, because when they grow up, there was so much expectation placed on, on them by the community, by the church and all that. And sometimes they grow up to reject it. They re- re- reject all this expectation. Why? I'm a normal kid. Why must I grow up with all this expectation? Why must I always give in? You know, whenever people are playing and all that, I must give in because I'm a pastor's kid and let others. And so there's a, there's, there's a reaction to that. And sad to say, because of that reaction, because of the community not able to, able to handle that, uh, many of the pastor's kids do not end up as pastors. In fact, if you look at it in our own Methodist church in Malaysia too, if you study and look back, you'll see that many, very few, very few end up as a pastor following the footstep of uh, their, their, their parents or their father. Now, he was actually that, but in, during that time, it was different. He was well-trained, well-groomed, well-taught. Jeremiah brought, was brought up with a sen- sensitive spirit. He began to have that kind of compassionate heart like God. And when he looked at the circumstances, he cried, he weeped. 
And that's why he was nicknamed as the Weeping Prophet. Now, I stand in trembling when I want to preach about Jeremiah. Because his life, actually, the moment he was born, God has chosen him. Chosen him to be unpopular, not popular. To be the most unpopular prophet. To speak out the truth where people don't want to hear. He was telling, for example, he was telling that, you know, all of you, please be warned. He was living in a society where politically it was a whirlpool. Morally, it was a cesspool. 